The Sun is Kind of a Big Deal by Nick Selleck. All of the planets and the sun live together in the solar system like a big family. The sun is our solar system's very own star. Sounds like a cool guy. Seriously, the sun is an actual star. It's the only star in our solar system, and it sits right in the center, holding everything together. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. C can I have your autograph? It's for my, uh, my moon, Callisto. Saturn. Woo, woo. Uranus. Neptune. So, what's in the solar system besides the sun and the planets? Dwarf planets. Five rocky bodies that are smaller than planets. Asteroids, small rocky objects that move around between Mars and Jupiter in the asteroid belt. Meteors, streaks of light created when pieces of space rock or metal speed into Earth's atmosphere. If you see a shooting star, it's actually a meteor. Comets, icy rocks that shoot through space and leave a trail of gas and dust. Aliens. Okay, maybe not, but we're always looking for them. Oh, hey, guess what? Our solar system is just one of many solar systems that exist. A galaxy is a group made up of billions of solar systems. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. There are billions of galaxies out there, and together they make up the universe. Can you count to a billion? The sun is the biggest thing in the solar system. It's even bigger than Earth. Way bigger. Way, way bigger. Like, over a million times bigger. Ow! It burns! This is why I keep my distance. There are much bigger stars than the sun, but all of the other stars you see are really, really, really really far away. Really? Really. The other stars are in totally different solar systems and have their own planets. Earth is the third planet away from the sun. Remember Earth? It's that little planet where you and everyone you know lives. Mercury. I'm the baby. Venus. I'm the hottest planet. Earth. I have cats. Mars. Did someone lose a rover? Jupiter. I'm gassy. Saturn. Hula hoop champion! Uranus. I spin sideways. Neptune. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's c c cold out here. Pluto used to be a planet, but scientists decided it didn't quite fit the definition. Now, it is called a dwarf planet. I'm still here, guys. Sorry, Pluto. The planets move around the sun like a big racetrack in space. Each planet has its own special path that it follows. That's called its orbit. Some planets are faster than others, 
but each one stays in its lane. I really feel like I have farther to go than you guys. It takes a whole year for Earth to go all the way around the sun. January. Happy New Year! February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. December. Do you know how many times you have been around the sun? Hint, how old are you? So what does the moon do all year long? While Earth is going around the sun, the moon is spinning around Earth. The moon goes around Earth 12 or 13 times in one year. That's about once a month. Depending on where the moon is in its cycle, we might only see part of it. The rest of the moon is in shadow. When we see the whole thing, it's called a full moon. First quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, waning crescent, new moon, waxing crescent. The sun never stops working. It does a ton of important jobs for Earth. In fact, we wouldn't be around without the sun. Are you sure you need all of this from me? Yes. Every second of every day. Please and thank you. Why is Earth so important? Two words, plants and animals. That's three words. Still waiting on that autograph. What's this line for? The sun gives us light so we can see. But it takes about eight minutes for light to get to us because the sun is so far away. It's worth the wait. Earth spins around in a full circle every day. That is why when it's nighttime for you, it's daytime on the other side of the world. Oh, hey, guess what? As one side of Earth spins away from the sun, it looks like the sun is setting there and it becomes night. As that side of Earth spins back toward the sun, it looks like the sun is rising and you guessed it, breakfast time. Hi again. How was your night? The sun is always there, even when you can't see it. Sometimes it looks dark outside during the day because the sun is behind the clouds, but it is still there. Hey, move it, clouds. I was making shadow puppets. Once in a while, it gets dark in the daytime because the moon gets in the sun's way. That's called a solar eclipse, and it only lasts for a little while. Look what I can do! Yes, yes, we are very impressed. Now keep moving! Keeping us warm is another really important part of the sun's job. The sun is hotter than you can imagine. Way hotter than fire! Its temperature reaches millions of degrees at the center. Some places on Earth are warmer than others. The parts of Earth closest to the equator are the warmest. The parts of Earth closest to the North and South Poles are the coldest. Oh, hey, guess what? See that red line around the middle of Earth? It's an imaginary line people invented called the equator. It separates the top and bottom halves of Earth. So now we know it's colder near the poles of Earth and warmer near the equator. But why? Well, the parts of Earth near the equator are getting the sun's heat from straight on. The north and south poles are getting the same amount of sunlight, but it gets spread out over a bigger area. Since these places have to share the sun's heat, 
they don't get quite as warm. North Pole, less direct sun. Equator, more direct sun. South Pole, less direct sun. While Earth is moving around the sun, it is spinning on a tilt. That's why we have seasons. There are four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Because of Earth's tilt, the top half and the bottom half of the world experience the seasons at different times. When the bottom half of Earth is tilted toward the sun, it is summer there. Happy summer, everyone! This also means that the top half of Earth is tilted away from the sun, which makes it winter there. What do you mean? It's winter! The sun's work isn't done yet. Every day, the sun also has an important job in the water cycle. What happens during the water cycle? Heat from the sun causes water to mix with air, turning into vapor. That's called evaporation. <gasps> I'm floating! Then the vapor gathers together to make clouds. That's called condensation. <laughs> Finally, the water comes back down as rain or snow. That's called precipitation. Uh-oh, I'm leaking! We're back! We're back! We're back. The water cycle is important for all living things, but especially for plants. Plants need water and sunlight for photosynthesis. That's a big word, but it's also a really big job. What can I do for you today? A little photosynthesis, please. Photosynthesis is when a plant uses light from the sun, water from the water cycle, and carbon dioxide from the air to make food for energy to help it grow. I like totally love dirt. Dirt is awesome. I love it. What do I owe you? Oxygen. During photosynthesis, plants make oxygen. That's what animals and people need to breathe. Take a deep breath. You just breathed in a lot of oxygen. Oxygen doesn't have any taste, but it's always there. We can't live without it. If the sun wasn't helping out with photosynthesis, we wouldn't have oxygen. You're welcome. The sun is pretty great. It's always around, keeping the whole solar system together. It gives us light and keeps us warm. It helps bring us rain and grow plants to produce the oxygen we breathe. It's such a big part of our lives that we wouldn't be able to live without it. The sun works really hard to help us out. That's kind of a big deal. <laughs>